Hey everybody, it's Bendy Penguin 64 with some more Super Mario Galaxy. And here I'm going to finish off Honey High uh, as much as it can be finished. Then I'll be fighting the boss and hopefully doing the Hungry Luma level. So, okay, we have Big Bad Bugaboom. Now, uh, this boss is, I wouldn't really say difficult, just more time consuming. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just tricky to actually hurt him. But, I mean, you're probably, uh, you're probably not going to die too often. Uh, just, uh, it's just going to take a while. Anyway, you don't have to kill these Mandibugs. Uh, I don't think. No, you don't. Wait, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Yeah! Yeah, seriously, spin into the red parts of those rocks and you can actually break them. I never knew that until, uh... A while ago. Where's that sending? Uh, it sends me up there. I really don't think I need to. Wait. I might need to get it. No, wait. As I call the Queen, summons a launch star. Maybe. The neighbours are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. Yep, launch star. Yeah, the Queen is maintaining quite a distance between Mario and her. Wow, we're already here. That was that was a short path. Yeah, it's actually quite funny about all the adult stuff you can find in kids' games. Like, uh, as I said, perverted Mario crawling on the Queen. Yeah. It's just funny and I can just be I can just tell I'll be looking for a lot of those. But anyway, here is the boss. And uh, obviously first time he's really, really easy. You see that? Huge crash mark on his back. Yeah, that's what you want to. Hit. That's uh, what you want to aim for. Yeah, obvious weakness. And uh, he will change paths, but uh, not really anything to worry about. See. And uh, here's where he gets mad, and this is where it gets tricky. This actually takes me quite a while because he will twist and turn, and he'll be hard to get on. Uh, you can stay on that honey wall until he comes round. Oh wait, come on. Ah, oh, missed him. Okay, first huge miss. Uh, what the? Oh, failed miserably at that. Okay, come on, be Mario. Come on, be Mario. Come on, Mario. Mario. No, 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 no. Yeah. That usually takes me quite a while, but this time I got it done fairly quickly. That really wasn't too hard. See, like I said, yeah, it's uh, it's not really a difficult boss, just more time consuming. And now, with Honey Hard completed as much as it can be, we're going to fight the boss, Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. And I'm not going to lie, I always tried to shoot Bowser in the eye whenever I... Oh, I did it! Nice! Whenever I first did these, I always tried to shoot Bowser in the eye because it looked really cool. So anyway, Mega Legs Moon. Yeah, uh, not sure if any of you other guys tried to do that. I, I just thought it was cool. So, uh, yeah, there's actually a boss in Galaxy 2 uh, called Digger Leg, which is basically just like this, but fought differently. And I think Digger Leg is a lot small. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot smaller, but. Where are the bullet bills? Uh, you're supposed to lure a bullet bill over here, but I have no idea where they are. It's only a small planet. What the? Well, there's my first death. Guess I can yeah, guess I can say goodbye to that zero death run. No, I I wasn't planning to do a zero death run. Cause that's uh, physically impossible with uh, some of the other stuff they'll be throwing at you. I mean, one galaxy I absolutely hate. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Well there's quite a few galaxies that will do that to you, but uh, there's one galaxy which really, really annoys me. But I'll be getting into that much later. Okay, Bowser Jr. What? Ah, 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 you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go out and Mega Legs, dump him with the power of your grand star. Hmm. I swear, when when I first did that laugh, like what? Ah, 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 I sounded like Wario. Okay, so there's Mega Leg, and as you can see, he has the he has this weird thing on his head. That's the grand star. That's what you want to aim for. Well, obviously, <sighs> go away. Sorry, my cat is is scratching on the door. 
and someone's almost definitely going to let her in and cause an interruption. Oh, now, this here isn't too bad. Oh, good, she's stopped. This here isn't too difficult. See? I should go unlock that. I could show. I should go open that door, but uh, my cat's gonna have to deal with it. Uh, you can actually jump over that fence uh, in order to get the bullet bills. Oh, come on! Thank you. Okay, now you've got a Laura bullet bill over here, and you can actually destroy these cannons. So, let me see if I can do this. Oh, I did it! I did it! Okay, come on, come on, into the yeah! And one part of the fence did get destroyed, but didn't even have to bother. And there is your second grand star. Yeah. I love this music. Okay. You got a star. And naturally Mario will fly in again and that will Actually, I forgot. Does that light up the second area? Because it's already lit. But anyway, now it's yellow. And, uh... Actually, I don't think it lights up anywhere else. Hmm. See? Already lit. Okay, galaxy complete. And I've just got a new galaxy. Over in the fountain. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little power star will be restored and the beacon will grow. The comet observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the centre of the universe. Oh, the power is on in a new dome. That's where my voice for black lunars keep changing. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you've been at the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Yeah, it's really not that hard because the Comet Observatory really isn't that big. Not as big as Delfino Plaza. Well, in my opinion, it's not. Hmm. But uh, anyway, no reason to go back there, so I'm going to finish off here with the Hungry Luma. Hey, you! Yeah, you! We've seen this text before. You're going to be seeing this quite a bit. 400. I'm 11 short. I'll be right back. Okay, now I can talk to this guy. So he needs 400 star bits. Greedy. Well, it's not as bad as what we're going to be seeing later. I'm going to need a lot of star bits. That's it. I'm stuck. Here we go. Transform. Why I say it like that? I don't know. The sweet, sweet galaxy appeared. Now, as I recall, this has remixed music from Super Mario Bros. 3. I, I don't know if that's it. Okay, Rocky Road. Hmm, <laughs> you get it? Rocky Road is an ice cream, but it's also saying the road is going to be rocky. It's a pun. <laughs> Puns are funny. Yeah, that's Super Mario Bros. 3. But actually, I have Super Mario All Stars, uh, the remake for the Wii, and it. Uh, I have played Super Mario Bros. 3, and if this is not Super Mario Bros. 3, then I am stupid. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it is, but you never know, I could be an idiot. Hmm. Well, we're all a bit idiotic. A bit idiotic. Idiotic? What am I, American? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This, uh, is not the trickiest galaxy you're going to see. Well, not for me, but, but uh, can be a bit difficult to get through. Now, okay, just gonna want to, uh, wobble, wobble, wobble. Uh, okay, there's a one up there, could get that, but I'm going to end it off, uh, after this, but, okay, I've got it anyway. Makes up for a life I lost, uh, somewhere. Uh, can't remember where that was. I don't know. But, uh, Anyway, here's the last stretch. Oh, oh. Okay. Road's constantly moving. You've got to keep ahead. Okay. Now, easy, easy, easy. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh, I died on the last part. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. 
Come on, longer one. Yeah, I don't, oh, I don't believe it. Okay, come on, I can't fail, I can't fail. I thought I was going to fail. We got a power star. Okay, some star bits here to make up for what the hungry Luma devoured. And uh, here you see some cherries, yep, yeah, remember? Eight pieces. So, there's the power star. Yeah, you remember how I said that this is like the least challenging or whatever? Yeah, I, I was wrong. And it returned us to the start because it wasn't in the dome. So, uh, after two failures uh, on what I was sure was the easiest uh, the easiest of the Hungry Luma Galaxies. Uh, I don't care if I've discovered a new galaxy. I'm not going to be taking it on until later. So anyway, um, I am actually going to uh, finish here. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time when I'll be starting the fountain. Okay, see you guys.